What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Republic of Venice. And in this, and in this episode, uh, we are heading off this small Polish stack that's arrived on our borders in Bulgaria. And we're going to try and cut them up and destroy them as quickly as possible so we can reform um, this force and drive them northeast to go after the Georgians and open up a front, another front against Russia and Poland. So let's get to it. Um, but right now, things are generally going pretty well. We finally destroyed the Ottomans. We have an alliance with Persia, who would have been our nearest um, nearest threat after taking out the Ottomans. So now the armies that we had attacking the Ottomans can go north. We can start to build smaller garrisons to hold our border towns. But yes, we can start to focus on invading the Russian steppe. Okay, so what's artillery position? So I want actually let's move that. What I want to do is to try and overwhelm and surround them and then use my cavalry to maximum effect. To mob them and destroy them, including my generals. He's getting involved in this. So their skirmishes are hidden. Artillery. Yeah, just keep attacking. A mixture of line and European. Actually, a lot of a lot of European mercenaries actually. My general. So get over here first. Run. Hold shift. Give them a new order. A new run command for this line. Cool. We don't mind about taking damage. We are more concerned about the. destroying them than, than us being destroyed. So that's already beginning. If they just break like that. My god. The cavalry is just not anywhere in position, anywhere near being in the, in the right position to deal with that. Okay, line infantry. The skirmishes are going to be somewhere, but we don't know where. There we go, now they're coming back. Commit two cavalry units to go after the skirmishes. Once they're broken, only one of them has to stay. The general and regiment of horse can keep pushing. good course to be on. Actually, you'll both try and, ch try and chase them down, really. Kills are kills. The sooner you mop up these guys. Go for that block of the Regiment of Foot. New men push up. General will go for the 32nd regiment. Artillery fire. Focus on the 8th. Just a war of manoeuvre. Nice, okay. Okay, let's speed up time. Although actually it is the infantry I want to try and kill the most. So let's focus on getting though getting this done. Well we can bounce around them all. We're a sentient being, we're a real person. We can do multiple difficult things at once.
Okay, now I can give you orders to try and kill this infantry. Artillery, cease fire. Just keep hacking away at them. Oh no, you guys are splitting up. Could use my infantry to, infantry to chase them down, but I'm not super bothered about about it if they get away. We're doing we're doing a good amount of kills as it is. Spread out as well. Now you both made it to the line, but not fast enough. Excellent, we've killed their general. Three infantry left, but there's only two of them here. So where's your last man? There he is. And because of it, they're going to escape. Oh well. Good victory for us. Killed a lot of uh, Polish troops, so let's watch them fall back. They've only got 288 men remaining. And obviously they I fall back to Can our side enter. of the river. Nice. Okay, let's bring you guys up to plug the gap. Because your job is going to be to focus on the attack. Although I would like... I need to check I'm not recruiting any though. But I do want howitzers. You can give 12 pounders now because they're closer. We will recruit two. Let's, recruit, let's build a... Hmm. So you're on the move. Oop, one second guys. There we go. Um, okay, so. In terms of other stuff that's going on. To be honest, we've got a church school here. This agent can push up. Well, Yerevan's got a church school. Tbilisi's got a church school. Let's push him up to Cherkask. You can effectively start to convert Iasi because that's going to be our next territory. I see Polish troops. Yeah, start to convert this region because we are going to claim it eventually. Um, it's tempting to push forward and attack this Polish force and this Russian force because we need we need to keep um keep doing damage. Although, I, want to, I do want to spend some money on my economy. It appears we don't have... Oh, there we go. I was about to say we don't have any cheaper port upgrades, but we do. Um, hmm. Well, that's, not, that's a more expensive farm. Um, actually, I think... Let me go for the government building in Yerevan, just to add a bit more repression. Or a bit more uh, a bit more government order bonuses. The infrastructure's on the way. They're building walls, so we can start to add um, infantry. The Ru this Russian army appears to want to be fairly stable, so let's move this force under Mr. Galvani forward to the Arbiti. west of this Polish army. They have no artillery, so we are going to be on the defensive. We're going to quick line the bejesus out of them, knock some really good holes in them, and then we are going to, again, just go for some cheap wins. Cheap wins and maintain the pressure. Because the main, our main effort is still, against Russia, is ooh, bugged artillery. Our main effort is still going to be in the east and potentially landing in Crimea when that's done. Okay, form my lines up, put my guns in the line to provide a bit of extra support so the line doesn't get mobbed. I'll have to spread.
spread that flank out a little bit more. Well, there's the line. <laughs> For a minute there, I was a bit surprised. Engineers and Grenadiers. Okay, let's place one unit each. Well, actually, what you can do with Engineers is because they can place stakes. Just deploy them in front of your lines, place stakes, and then run them away. Put that howitzer unit there. Put this howitzer unit here. We've got some bug to SARS, so we have an enormous unit. <laughs> cool. Grenadiers, so you want to go here. Quick climb first. Shells away. Good hits. The provincial cavalry are charging. We've placed our stakes in an enormous line. Run the engineers back. Horse Grenadier Guards. Okay, let's get my Hussars over here. They're only light horse. Hold the line back. They're going to hit my stakes. There's my gun crew. They're just advancing. They're not actually charging. Bring my cavalry in. Gunners, reman your guns. Okay, I'll start to angle you guys. Squires. Enemy Hussars coming in. Don't worry, they don't see our cavalry wing coming in. Artillery engage where with uh, with canister shot. I was about to say square shot, that's that's not that's for very peculiar targets. For very specific targets. Artillery, man your guns. Because they're ch currently chasing down the uh, the enemy units. Bring my cavalry in. Yep, our squares are holding nicely. Oh no, you men, no, you, you. Man your guns. My hussars have mobbed the enemy horse grenadier guards. They've, they've got heavier cavalry, but our cavalry is good. You quick climb the marines. We've got a couple of units that stood back. Okay. okay, there we go. That's two enemy cavalry units. Shattered. Kill that horse grenadier guardsman. Get my troops out of the line. Get my cavalry in the mix. Commit the grenadiers into the fight. Run the ca run the artillery out of the way. Or run the gunners out of the way, I should say. Okay, just leave the gunners out of the fight. I've got so many Hussars, they're going to sweep in. My stakes don't kill my men. Okay, howitzers, switch to round shot, begin bombarding these guys at the back. We 
we've stepped a lot of friendly fire casualties here, but then again, I can never get them back up to 267 anyway. They physically won't be able to be um, replenished that high. Rear charge from the Hussars. This infantry begin advancing on the next enemy stronghold. enemy square formation no don't go after them go after the marines there's only four of them one of them Why are you still... Oh no, I pulled you back out of the line, didn't I? Where are your guns? There they are. You swarm my cavalry in. Here are the enemy. Well, here's the rest of the enemy skirmishers. New men face off against the mercenaries. You men advance up the high ground, try to cut off the general's bodyguard. Chase down the mercenaries. Guerrilla mercenaries are starting to charge us, so that's quite cute. Put artillery pound that square. Oh, it says. Oh, it says don't worry about it. Okay, they're trying to avoid this by redeploying against my other troops. Push forward. Oh, they're wavering because the guerrilla mercenaries. Charge them. Hate those skirmishes with all 190 of my cavalry. Okay, keep this line pushing up to interfere with their plans. Chase down and kill these Polish skirmishes. Chase down there, um... Don't worry about the general's bodyguard. Kill their infantry. So I think we're all we're effectively at the point where we can start to speed up the battle. Come on, 13 of them left. them up. How's the general doing? Yeah, they're doing okay. Let's keep an eye on the Hussars. Kill them all. Oh, there's only 15 of these marines. That's pretty delicious. 
and they're reasonably far away from the line. You're going to keep right clicking, to, it refreshes the logic and sometimes they stand still to uh, turn around and try and fight you. But obviously they can't fight you, they immediately die. Nice. 346 men remaining. Your army was obliterated, good sir. Excellent. Let's get this army replenished. Um, we could repair the coaching in, but what's the point? Make sure you're replenishing. Make sure you're replenishing as you're the reinforcements. We can probably switch these Grenadier Guards out for this full unit of Line Infantry Guards. Great. Good, good, good. Okay, you're recruiting extra troops. That's just fine. Austria's recruiting troops. And get rid of the church school in Prague. It's been there way too long. It should have been a religious school trying to convert. Well, actually, they're mostly... Well, they're almost majority Catholic anyway. But still, a little bit more would be better. But you're ready to hold off against the Russians with a decent reinforcing column. Let's recruit a Marine General. They are going to call in reinforcements. <gasps> Swiss Pikes, yes please. Albanian Skirmishers, why not? They're going to get another two units of um, conscripts from here. Two units of artillery from Istanbul. Actually, no, the artillery is going to go to Bruno, the main force. But let's hit in turn. Let things progress how they may. Yeah, I need to, I need to build my navy up again. Well, again, I need to build it up. more Prussian tech stealing. I'd like to think they're going to start running into solvency issues. Another Polish army. <laughs> they're not attempting to fight us, they just want to go around us. That's promising. But ideally, I'll have one army at Chikask and one army that can go east Hmm. Make sure we're constantly strengthening our garrison in Baghdad, lest the Persians turn on us. Okay. Power loom, so that's added. We've got a, a, a huge amount of buildings we can start upgrading now. In terms of our industry, um, let's upgrade Basra's port. So we've already got a decent garrison. We don't really need too many. Let's get a howitz unit just to get one recruited. Signore. You're still on your way to Cherkask. Servo vostro, signore. Da sinistra. Have you guys leave? Minus two. If you recruit another turn's worth of Dragoons, you should be great. But, right, let's think about this. Obviously, well, I suppose I want one to go after Astrakhan, one to go after Cherkask. Once this is dealt with, this small force can go after Crimea, because I believe it's pretty undefended. Yes. Um... I want to upgrade the dry dock to a naval hospital to get us some of the best ships you can get in the game. A very ragtag damaged fleet here. Let's just go auto resolve this one because there we don't ultimately we don't mind if we lose ships and lots of theirs are quite badly damaged anyway. Didn't lose any. And we're actually going to take the fifth rate into our service. Put back into port. 
repairs. Okay, you are going to join that army, because otherwise they'll never... They won't have time to get to this army in the north. For another batch of 12 pounders. Actually, we've already got an agent that's going to... An agent that can go to Cherkask. Unless you go to Astrakhan. And then you go to Cherkask. It appears we don't have any schools here. I'm going to keep an eye on, keep my spy here monitoring that target. Let's send this spy up to Astrakhan. So then at Yerevan, let's add a couple of units as a garrison. Elat has a church school, which is great. Upgrade another. Okay, we want to. Yeah, we need to start knocking holes in some of these more expensive ports now. Let's upgrade two cheap ones. Because what's going on up here is fine. Repair the mine. But we want to focus on busting through here into Iasi. Let's attack this small stack, take Iasi, capture it, destroy the Georgians, and then we may have a bit of a fight on our hands as we've got a new front line with the Russians and the Polish, but it does mean also in Central Europe they're going to start to get concerned as we march towards Warsaw. So they have to be very careful what they do too. It's drag my guns to the top of the hill. Line infantry block in the center. Conscripts protect the right flank. My elites are gonna go up in front of the in front of the artillery. And then my cavalry and whip around the flanks. Cool, I want my artillery to go up here. My decent infantry to height to be ahead of them. Conscripts can face this direction. They'll head off the reinforcements that are coming in. Push the infantry up rapidly. Cavalry on the right. I mean, this is going to be a depleted unit of. Oh, it's a full unit of guerrilla mercenaries. And that's it. So the first lancers. Polish lancers, indeed. They're, go they're advancing and they're going to be. Oh, no, they're not going to be in musket range. Curving our flank round. Oh, don't worry, fellows. I'm not going to start advancing until my artillery is in position and they're bombarding you from this fantastic position. Hello. Skirmishers. His lances are going to be engaged. They're trying to say, save their irregulars. Counter charge my cavalry. So they do lots of charge damage. But once that's been. Once they've played that sorry trick, there's not a lot else they can do. They're dropping rapidly now. Lances are not very good in the following melee. OK, 
here. Let's curve this flank around properly. Unlimber the artillery. Storm down the hill towards them. That's what they want us to do. Keep an eye out for their skirmishes that skirmishes that are hiding. Artillery focus on those lancers. I think it's their oh that's not their general, their general's back here. Oh no, the general is the general's mixed in here. Don't worry, my line, my colonial line, my Swiss line. attack the rest of their infantry contingent. Excellent. Their line is bolpering. I can see their cavalry is going after my cavalry. Light horse go for the general's bodyguard. Heavy cavalry go for the lancers. These guerrilla mercenaries are routing through our line. Let's take you guys. Do something a bit more like this. There we go. General going to escape. It appears so. Have that weak unit of, of um, skirmishes. Okay, push this line forward just to swipe, wipe out the rest of the guerrilla mercenaries. Then it's speed up time. General, get over here. Uh, the general was the commander of those um, guerrilla mercenaries that came in. Kill them! Kill them all! Man, you guys are struggling to kill these guys because they spread out too much. Pathfinding of small amounts of cavalry can't handle it. So let's group my these units together. Kill this infantry unit. They can work that out. You and you. Nice. So that's one for another force, rather not one force, another force bashed back in this part of the world. Okay, let's use my weak unit of militia to combine. Let's upgrade the water power cloth mill. Skirmishers are on their way. More skirmishers. Okay. This is a really decent army up here. So I think next turn we're ready to start to try and bust some heads against the Russians and the uh, Russians and the Polish and try and push towards 
uh, Warsaw. But again, like I said, I do want my primary focus to be trying to chip away at some of the areas that Russia is less likely to expect. Okay, let's hit end turn. I mean, it's only a matter of time before we get another Spanish stack sailing to attack us. Um, no. You can make war if you wish, Prussia. Although, do I send that army that's to the south of Vienna? Do I send them up to... Up to um, the Prussian border? Provide more mass? Because ultimately, they do have a lot of troops. An awful lot of troops. Where are you going, Savoy? Where are you sending troops? Most curious. Works on striking Georgia. Not anymore, they aren't. Which means we can start to Recruit line infantry to support garrison building. Iron Masters worked. Good. Let's walk this side of them and then auto, auto that engagement. Because you can do that to them. Forza e onore. Signore, pronti. Servo vostro, signore. In marcia. Something like that. Issate la bandiera. It's just going to take you guys time to run. How are you doing, Ankara? Avanti per il paese e la corona. I vostri ordini. Dammel 50. We need to bring this force to bear to, tr to jump against Crimea. We want to just try and put. Oh no, don't do that. Land here. Deposit your army. Not a super good army for attacking cities. But we can take it, and because it's. We should be able to recruit some decent um, supporting arms there. Okay. Infrastructure's doing well. You're on your way. Twenty-five thousand. Again, try chip away with one top-level port every turn. In the mean, though, I do think, especially now that Polish army has withdrawn, bring up, bring up some reinforcements, and then attack the Russians. I'll have a small Polish contingent in reinforcement, but that's fine. Because what I want to do is send an army to go put Warsaw under siege. Because that would, that will cause some problems for them. Especially as I think Warsaw is one of the only uh, areas to cross that particular river. So I think, I think that'd be a good option. Um, we need to keep making sure that we uh, advance elsewhere and against Russia's other, particularly the rear areas and particularly Crimea. Terrain is not ideal. A reasonable artillery park can be built up here. Lots of quick line firepower. So they have a significant infant uh, cavalry contingent. So we're going to be a bit immobile. But like I said, we've got plenty of quick line. 
firepower. So the one thing you've got to worry about is... There we go. I was going to say, the one thing we had to worry about was the... The choice of the poles to reinforce from an awkward location. Excellent hit. You've already obliterated a personal unit off the bat. Let's get our howitzers limbered up. Which I think we are going to want to get them moving. Let's get my other cavalry unit over here. Limber my artillery up. Should probably reorientate them over here. Okay, we've made their infantry fall back. They're sending cavalry forward as a bit of a spoiling expedition. Although I should probably just place them, make my guys run short. Yeah, I need a cavalry charge. So you deploy square. Watch where they change their target. To be honest, actually, they are going to be okay there, I think. My right flank, however, where I have dominance, needs to move up. Our square is holding. Artillery limber up. Push the Russians forward. General bodyguards exposed to their weakness. Drop into square. Guys in the center. Focus the quick climb fire on areas. Troops that may wish to try to take advantage of a. Look at that. Good hits. Let's run my cavalry around their flank. Excellent. This is, this is the kind of thing I was looking for. Units to start breaking. Cavalry blow through their line. Russians are good at melee combat, but they're not going to be good enough. Make sure the howitzers are now firing round shot at something else. Get my general up here. See my howitzers all focus on the 62nd regiment because then we'll only need to send one unit. These two units can start to flank around. Excellent. So you men get into the mix here. Danger close, quick climb shots. Make sure I do keep one firing at the 60 second. Yeah, good quick climb shot here. Well, against this unit and this unit would be super. We've got Russian Niv Nizhny Novgorodsky units surrounded. Round shot. Worked though, damn it. Uh, yes, you can actually go for their actual general. Okay, these units have to balance. Go here. You're engaging them. That's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Form a line inside the stakes. Start to engage. I'll start to pull men out to face off against the 
the other units that are remaining. Put artillery engaged, the Polish reinforcements coming in. Excellent. Cavalry, get out of the way. Excellent. You men join the main line. These units can do this. Keep the top left howitzer engaging the enemy units that are routing. Let's go for the 62nd. Let's go for the 65th. Excellent. Advance the line. We've killed the enemy general. Advance up the general. Something like this. Start to shift our targets around. Which you can hit Polish force. Smash the 60th. Let's see what happens. Regiment of horse versus a poorly formed half strength, half strength uh, unit of Russian infantry. Didn't take enough casualties. Danger of close artillery fire, but it worked, damn it. Excellent. You continue to chase down the 60th. These units can, can just continue putting pressure on that area. Line advance. Round shots. Engage the irregulars. Got my cavalry deployed. Attacking the enemy. Round shot for the howitzers. All focus on that strong unit of Russian line. They're shattered. Go after the 16th. Whip them around. Suddenly, yeah, there's the general body, general's bodyguards going, oh no. Maybe it was a bad idea to get involved in this in this war. The Venetians, they are our brave allies. Just had to be the man. Doing some good work against the enemy. Excellent. Oh, there's still an irregular mercenary unit standing here. Well, for now. soon had, en had enough of that. Let's not take that weak unit into battle. Let's just do something like this. And let's just speed up time to watch the uh, watch the carnage happen. Yeah, they're going to break. Acutely aware that bad things are going to happen. 
They don't want to push, they don't want to run. But it's too late. That's a good, good win. Bash you back to Poland. So this force can advance. You can raid university, secure the bridge. You're not able to push up to provide too many reinforcing troops yet. But we're going to go for a bit of a broad front. Advancing into Poland. That'll give them something to think about. Oh yes, you can't recruit any of that, because you don't have a coaching in. Although, to be fair, you don't really need to recruit all these Swiss troops yet anyway. Just by default, just keep recruiting a couple of units every turn, because one thing we don't want is to get jumped. You're, you're going to run... We're gonna run. Okay, let's. Something like that. Hey, bugged unit of line infantry. Cool. Excellent. Um, I think it were, if Prussia does come after us, I think the defences around Prague will be enough. I'd like, I'd be tempted to upgrade them to improve settlement fortifications for 24,000. Um, other than that, I want to find some areas nice and safe and upgrade their industry. There we go. 31,000. So our, our income's not going up a huge amount, um, but we are able to maintain our Maintain a serious amount of trade. But yeah, Naples is still our highest earner, and even then, you think how much higher Naples has got to go. Yeah, this isn't nowhere near fully upgraded, neither is this, neither are the ports, neither is the Iron Master's works. God, Naples is such. Ooh, hello. Well, you've already got some being recruited, so let's send you up north. You're going to pathfind your new army. Ernesto Arimana. Arimana. Wait, where is he? Oh, yes, here. You didn't even get involved. That's a swindle. Um, but yeah, if you're Poland, this is cause for concern. And if you're Russia, so is the rest of this. But let's hit and turn. Hungary needs to get um, asphalt roads. Well, macadam roads. Persia's still attempting to steal our technology. Poland is sending religious agents to Persia. Savoy. I mean, I'm curious to know what you're doing. Are you going to get involved in our in our war? Because if you are, that's that's neat. But you can see the stacks of troops being built by Persia. You know, you know where they're going to they're going to end up going after us. They're not going to go anywhere else. It's going to be hard for them because they're going to be really desperate desperate to not um, upset everyone. A rake in Anatolia. Fabiano Comin, okay. L brother of Luca. Well, let's get you just up to Moscow. A new town emerges in Romelia. Andri Andrianopol. Could upgrade that into a. Well, we don't need a university. Industry. Cash. Money. Upgrade another port. Hungary. Get better roads. That's quite a beefy army up here. 
But we can break them and chase them off. That's the thing. Um, but first... Our army's going to march up and take Premier. Because they have no garrison and our force are sufficiently strong, we can just take it. We can't defend any of the rest of the region. But this will do. I think we may end up having to exempt the region from tax for a while. Okay, you may actually have to go here to keep to <laughs> convert some of the population to get rid of the religious unrest quicker. Which means you need to go to Cherkask. There we go. Then once we get Astrakhan, it's on the way to Ufa, Kazan, Ust. This army effectively becomes a potential raiding force towards Moscow. So they're in... They are in trouble. 12,000. That's probably going to be enough. Let's take you guys. Take our weakest unit. Use it to top off our best units. And do the same here. Then 129. You'll get folded into these two units. Three Senior spaces. Well, rotate one out. Avanti. Send in four in fresh marcia. units. Avanti. Signore. Servo Actually, you can combine cavalry units, pull the weak Avanti. unit out. Si. Push a fresh... Actually, have you got heavy cavalry? No, you don't. Signore. Send heavy cavalry forward. Avanti. Ruppe, avanti. E marcia. A weak unit of marines and another weak unit of line infantry. Avanti. Avanti, e marcia. Avanti, and then you've got signore. marines here. Uomini, avanti, signore. I vostri and ordini. here. I haven't got many reinforcement grenadiers, so you're going to come... Avanti. Oh, no, not all of you. In marcia. Avanti. You're going to come Rupe. back. Avanti. To be honest, so are the grenadiers. In marcia. Avanti. Push up a, a line infantry guard and a howitzer and a skirmisher unit. In marcia. You have no cavalry, Avanti. so let's Aglio. give you a regiment of horse. Avanti. In marcia. Oh, I thought I drifted Signore. just a bit too close to the front there. But yes, you men keep keep Avanti. replenishing. Swiss Grenadiers Avanti. go to the reinforcing army. Yeah, like if they run through here, like we've got a bit of a, a defensive line built. But we don't have a lot of mass here because we've deployed it all against Warsaw. We're not going to do any of this stuff. Although it's nice to see. Actually, let's keep building our defense. Catholicism is growing handsomely. But yeah, I think the next thing, the first thing to do. Actually, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this unit of conscripts. Add, up, add the howitzers up. I think the thing to do, though, is to attack one of these armies with all of our armies and let's fight a large pitched battle. Just make sure everybody is in range to support. We are going to go for this army specifically. There we go. 12,000. Actually, the numbers are pretty even. General's bodyguard, cuirassier, horse artillery, 
this is going to be fun. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the devastation of the Polish and Russian armies and the blasting open of the way to Warsaw. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>